Hello and welcome to my talk titled Exploring the Explainable Aspects and Performance of an Evolutionary Multi-Objective Optimization Method. My name is Giovanni Misitano and I am currently working as a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Yväskylä in the Multi-Objective Optimization Research Group led by Professor Kaisa Miettinen. In this talk I will briefly describe one of my recent publications. We will begin with a motivation followed by background concepts, then I will actually describe the method introduced in the paper, and we will end this talk with conclusions. Multi-objective optimization methods can address problems with multiple conflicting objective functions that are to be optimized simultaneously. Because they are conflicting, we cannot find one optimal solution to these problems. Instead, we end up with multiple so-called Pareto-optimal or non-dominated solutions. These solutions cannot be compared or they cannot be fully ordered mathematically alone, and it's usually up to a decision maker, a domain expert, to identify the best solution, and the best solution is often subjective. In evolution multi-objective optimization methods, we often end up generating a lot of solution candidates in different populations, which we don't really end up using for much. But are we really utilizing these solutions to their fullest potential that we generate in evolutionary multi-objective optimization methods? I think we are not, and I think we could do better. We could learn additional information to not just boost the evolutionary process itself, but to also provide a decision maker with additional insights when it comes to the solutions and the problem being solved itself. Next, I will briefly describe some of the background concepts so that we can understand the rest of this talk. As already mentioned, in multi-objective optimization problems, we have multiple conflicting objective functions, f, which are functions of the decision variables x. x are subject to certain constraints, which can be upper and lower bounds, for example, or various constraint functions. The point is that these constraints give rise to the feasible set s. In the image of the feasible set s, we have a special set of solutions which are known as the Pareto optimal solutions or the Pareto optimal front, also known as the non-dominated front when we use approximating methods such as evolutionary methods. The point here is that when we select a solution on the Pareto optimal front, we cannot switch to another solution in hopes of improving one of the objectives without having to sacrifice in at least one of the other objectives. And this is one of the main reasons why Pareto optimal solutions cannot be fully ordered without additional information. As many of us already know, evolutionary methods are based on heuristics, where we utilize different evolutionary operators to improve a population of solutions over time in subsequent generations. We can utilize different operators such as crossover mutation and selection. The idea is that we improve the population over time and as an indicator of the improvement of the population, we can utilize, for example, a fitness function. And one more topic before we discuss the actual method proposed in my paper. This subfield of artificial intelligence, explainable artificial intelligence, aims to research new artificial intelligence or machine learning models that are more interpretable, more explainable, or they aim to find new methods to make existing models more interpretable or explainable by humans. The idea is that many powerful machine learning models, they tend to look like black boxes, so we don't fully understand how they make the predictions they do. And one can argue that if we want to do good decisions, it is questionable at best to rely on this kind of black boxes. So, could we take the concept of explainability and explore it in evolutionary multi-objective optimization methods? I think we can. Next, I will describe the actual method proposed in my paper. The acronym you see here stands for Explainable and Learnable Evolutionary Multi-Objective Optimization, which is a new kind of method proposed in my paper. My method is based on the idea of learnable evolution models, which utilize two modes to evolve a population of solutions. In the first mode, the Darwinian mode, we employ our typical evolutionary operators to improve the population. Whereas in the learning mode, we utilize machine learning to learn what makes a solution good and what makes a solution bad by classifying solutions into H and L groups. Then we can utilize the machine learning model that has learned 
to categorize solutions into these two groups. To generate new solutions, usually high performing solutions, which when introduced back into the population can improve the overall population. The advantages of learnable evolution models is that they can boost the search for optimal solutions, which can sometimes result in these so-called quantum jumps, which are sudden improvements of the fitness of the population. But if we utilize explainable machine learning models, we could also extract additional insights, not just to boost the search for optimal solutions, but to also possibly provide decision makers with additional insights about the solutions at the, and the problem itself. In the method, we have implemented a simple indicator-based evolutionary multi-object optimization method, where we utilize a scalarization function as the fitness function. We don't need to understand fully the function shown, but be aware that the set in the function represent aspiration levels that a decision maker has given, and these represent values for objective functions that the decision maker would like to achieve. As the machine learning model, we have utilized scope rules, which is able to generate simple to interpret rules, which can describe, in this case, the decision variables in high performing solutions. In the example, A1 and A2 are some inputs to a machine learning model. In the paper, I don't just explore the performance aspects of the proposed method. I also showcase how it can be utilized in a so-called interactive multi-objective optimization setting where a decision maker can provide preference information and see solutions to the problem iteratively. This allows the decision maker to learn about the problem and I also show how the generated explanations by the method can aid the decision maker further. Please see the paper for additional details. And this brings us to the conclusions of this talk. In my paper, I showed that introducing a learning mode to an indicator-based evolution multi-object optimization method can boost its search performance for optimal solutions. I also explored utilizing explainable machine learning models in the learning mode, and I also explored how the explanation generated by these models could help decision makers. However, to make any definitive claims about the support provided by these explanations, we need a lot of further studies. To facilitate these endeavors, I have provided my work as fully open source software in the form of a Python software framework. This is available to anybody to utilize to implement their own learnable evolution and multi-objective optimization methods with or without explainability. If you are interested in how the concept of explainability could be further explored in multi-objective optimization, I highly suggest you check out my recently published thesis. Thank you for listening and please check out my paper. It has a lot more additional details about my work.